Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, just a quick look at the intraday chart here to keep you up to date. Um, Bitcoin has, after the last video, just dropped a little bit lower. We don't have a, fl a flush or anything or a major sell-off. There was just a bit of a dip today, which broke the Saturday swing low. But that's about it, right? Um, of course, you know, there could be something like a head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here. Okay, definitely aware of that. Um, but it would still, in my opinion, require a break below Fibonacci support to, to, to confirm that a more substantial top has formed. So since the last video, the price has quite directly uh, reached already Fibonacci support. Okay, not touched it yet, but we're very close. Support is located between 66,537 and 64,780 USD. And um, it, you know, the, the, the scenario for one more high, I think is, is still quite reasonable still quite plausible, especially as long as we're holding 64,780. So I'm definitely aware, you know, definitely considering we could we could see another high from here in wave C of three, then another four, five pattern even. So it, it's about one more high or two more highs. Um, in the blue count, this could be an internal fourth wave. That's really what the support area is for, but it covers the yellow B wave as well. So we can't really say which one it is. But I can tell you that in the in the blue count as well, one more high, which would um, be a five wave move ideally in that in that scenario, could occur, and should reach ideally seventy three and a half to seventy four and a half k, the white box up there. But I can tell you that below the support area, I will start to watch for lower prices. I will start to watch for, um, I will start to watch for the price already and I go to the daily chart quickly to explain I will watch for the price to be already in the wave 2 that's the daily chart so I'm pretty much in these scenarios I'm, I'm tracking higher prices on the one hour chart yeah but once on the one hour chart micro support is broken it opens the door to this blue wave 2 which could then reach the area between 53,113 and 60,960 USD. So here, Fibonacci support. Yeah, um, That's the Fibonacci support area on the daily chart. So the one hour chart gives us a first indication for a top to be in place, which will then be further confirmed, you know, if we then also see some impulsive movements to the downside and so on. But ideally, this decline would unfold then as an ABC structure, A, B, C. So the A wave can be an impulse. We should see a B wave corrective rally, which can always overshoot. And then a C wave down into support. And as long as we're then holding 53,113, I'm overall gonna gonna look for higher prices, yeah. So and and that's here on the daily chart. That that would be the blue count. So if we now break micro support on the one hour chart, I'm tracking the blue count as an ABC structure. But as I said, primarily, uh, well, it would be ideal, let's say, like that, for the market to push a little bit higher. At least it's a plausible interpretation. At least it's what we can watch for because critical support levels haven't broken yet. And then if we push higher and head towards that you know, 73 and a half to 74 and a half K area, then I would call this the third wave. And then uh, we can get another fourth and a fifth. And this wave one is still unfolding pretty much in this scenario. And we would just get another four, five pattern to complete wave one a little higher. Um, so it's between, it's between two bullish scenarios overall. Yeah. And the one hour chart is giving us the first heads up w once a top has formed. As you can see, if we zoom out a little bit on the daily, we're still in this descending, broadening wedge pattern. And the, the you know, the you could say the rally forming higher highs, higher lows, and the first five wave pattern in the blue count has been ongoing since August. So a pullback again, you know, a pullback of some magnitude is likely again. The last one we had was uh, around the 10th of October. So I'm not necessarily looking for a major breakout here, not yet. After hitting support, ideally, yes. Okay, so yeah, we could go a little higher, but then pull back into support and then the breakout. Okay, then the breakout. So that's what I'm watching for. Um, but overall, market hasn't really done much today. So overall, not much new stuff to talk about, but the scenarios remain valid. On the daily chart, still bullish. 
on the one hour chart, ideally also still a little bit higher expected, but we're getting there. You know, we, we're getting close to a, to a, I think, a substantial top in either white wave three or blue wave one. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.